I'm not quite sure what's going on, but uh, I just uh, bailed that entire field and collected the bales and realized that it's not actually recording. So something's obviously changing my settings and I uh, can't seem to figure out. And I'm hoping that I'm talking right now, it's actually recording. So I got the bells, you can probably see just the top of the bells over there, it started raining. So we slept through a day. Welcome back to a new episode. We're in September now. Okay, so like always, first thing we do, let's check our oh. That is uh, wow, that that is um, that is very tempting. Definitely have the tractor for it, so that's not an issue. And it is 66% off and it can do fertilizer as well. Wow, and we got a new trailer which is bigger than ours. And we have the tractor to carry it, so that's not a problem. This is becoming very uh, typical type of thing. I see everybody's kind of the first thing we're all doing now. Okay, so we're gonna buy that and we're gonna buy this. How can you not, how big is it? six meters so it's bigger than ours but the very fact that the 210 horsepower so that's not a problem you have to buy it you just cannot you can't ignore these type of things so let's get into our tractor i had to sell the in our last episode i didn't record that but i had to sell the header the header trailer because i uh, went to put the trailer on it and it glitched through it and oh, I leave the engines on all the time so it glitched through it which meant that I couldn't uh, get the trailer out or uh, get the the trailer out or the header off it so it kind of uh, put themselves into one another type of thing which obviously was not uh, a good thing to do put our cedar there you know it is sad to see our planter go but it has to go oh, close it up should have washed it before we're selling it okay and I do have another tractor there because I we are going to be doing bailing in this episode and I found whoa that trailer is massive wow is that even going to work with our combine? Wow, that is the biggest trailer I've ever seen in my entire life. So we're going to have to double think this. Yeah, we're going to sell our... Uh, oh, oh don't, don't go there. Why is it so fast? So, sell... Did you tell me how much they give me? Yeah, we're going to get a new trailer, which has auto load. Now, I realize that that is a bit, but if you see my stacking skills, you will quickly understand why we're talking auto load. So you think about it, I got almost $20,000 for that and I bought this, what, $30,000? It's kind of, you know, a no-brainer type of thing. You had to buy it. it. You just, you physically could not ignore this buy. I like the fact that it's random. Like I watched Dagoin, and um, the things that I saw that he gets uh, offered in the in the you know in the used category, 
I haven't got any of that equipment in my use category, which is fantastic. Uh, it's good to see that it's not just, you know, the same things kind of just um, sort of rotating through it. Uh, like I've not received the, he, he brought um, the harvester, the grape harvester from there. I got nothing like that in, so. Whoa. This is what happens when they still think it's snow on the ground. Gosh, I hope they, they fix this. Okay. Okay, so we're swapping our equipment around and that includes our rock collector purely because there is a modded version of it, which um, gives you a greater capacity now it is also cheaper but there was no reason that wasn't the reason why i decided to swap them around because of the money side of things i simply wanted the the bigger capacity and uh, since one is available at bigger capacity i thought you know what perfect opportunity to to swap them around so it's going to be a little bit of reshuffling of my uh, equipment in this episode uh, i suppose this will happen a lot now with uh, uh, you know the used machinery market so you know it's you can't ignore when you get such great deals on it and i'm just going to check make sure that my trailers are about the same which they are which is fantastic all right so selling the trailer fourteen thousand dollars we're going to get for it which is fine i don't even bother with fixing it up so after swapping our equipment we're actually much better off financially now, like I said, I do want to buy the Autoload trailer for bales. Making sure there is no issues, no issues. First time ever. Could I have changed? No, this doesn't happen on the place because it was a conversion. I'm pretty sure that's why. No. Yep, not a problem. All right, so back to the shop we go. Back to the shop. Back to the farm we go. Well, apparently now when you buy a plow, you get a humongous amount of bales with it. It's me what's going on here let's see if that's the same thing if you look at this yep so let's go sell the bales and let's see what happens once we get rid of them well collectible number nine or ten uh, found another collectible uh, which is uh, located on the farm rooftop and uh, you will need to jump over the roof to be able to get up here or use flight mode fly mode if you want to sort of take a shortcut so it is here ready to be collected uh, just trying so we do have nine ten to go so another five hundred thousand dollars to go on top of it so like i said you will have to climb over the roofs here because there's no other ways to to get around it all right, so let's find out where we going to sell this. Wow, wow, $32,000 for bales. That is unbelievable. 20 something bales, I got 32,000. That is unbelievable. All right, let's get him to go home. Okay, we are planting our barley. Decided to uh, split the, the farm in two, if I could say it like that. Is this way we're gonna have barley, we're, we're gonna have uh, harvesting, 
uh, later uh, early into the next year and then we will, we will plant at the same time corn where we will have then harvesting later the following year so that way we kind of split our harvesting a bit apart now uh, what I did is I completely ignored it and I slept through a couple of nights uh, and then I realized that I didn't prepare the f this field at all to be able to put barley in it. So today's our last day. This is why uh, I had to do uh, uh, plowing, joining the fields together, collecting the rocks, then putting lime on this uh, field at the bottom over here. And uh, trying to do all that at the same time. Uh, it's good, at least that uh, we have four tractors. And that way uh, it was a little bit easier. And it was fantastic that we found this cedar in our used market this way we were able to obviously take advantage of a larger width and we're applying our first fertilization stage um, while we're sitting not sure why it's doing this way one uh, pass looks a bit uh, I don't know like more stubbly more like there's residue on the on the ground and then the next one it does not seem to do that so as you can see, the lime tractor has to wait for uh, for the rock collector. That is fairly slow, but still a lot better than uh, uh, you know the 2,000 liter one that we had. And this one, I believe the motor uh, maybe sped it up a little bit. Not quite sure on that, but um, feels like it's going a little bit faster than the other one did. So it's been a uh, an interesting episode. Uh, you know, a lot of uh, shuffling of our equipment around which uh, you know I'm not complaining we still have got very good money uh, and we've upgraded our equipment uh, better seater better trailer and better bales trailer well I believe it's better because I believe that this is why there is a glitch in the game because of uh, one of the auto load trailers but that's just my belief all right we'll let this guy do his work and I will put some music on Well, even with this uh, much bigger uh, seed, it seems uh, to take a little while to uh, plant this much bigger field now. Uh, I think it's a little bit deceiving. You don't get to really appreciate how big these fields are until you actually, uh, you know, plant them. And don't get me wrong, the work has done majority of the work. So it's not like I've done a, a humongous amount of planting, yet it still feels like it's uh, taking quite a bit. So obviously we're going to need to update our harvester big time if we're going to be able to keep up with um, the one day per season scenario. I had to change the direction of seeding at the top here because the worker would get stuck onto the greenhouses. So um, yeah, look, we're almost done planting this field. So oh, yes, 
looking forward to harvesting this field. Okay, so our first planting is gone. I don't know why it became like that striped. And we still have some rocks here, but that's fine. So if I have a look at it, we have a decent amount of barley and it should be one stage fertilized. Okay, so let's take you back. Well, we didn't use a lot of seeds, so that's fine. Well, we've done our bailing. We found a new glitch in the game. Um, not sure if that's not a mod conflict though, but anyway, it's there. Uh, we've uh, planted our barley and uh, we joined our fields together in this episode. So now we have two larger fields. One is barley, which we've done today. And the other bigger one will be corn in the coming um, episodes. So again, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for your support like always if you like what you see please subscribe and uh yeah if you have any suggestions feel free to uh, write them in the comments and i will look forward to reading them have a wonderful day morning evening night depending on where you are around the world and uh, remember be kind to each other and god bless you see you later bye bye